Hello friends, it is Wednesday and we are starting the vlog today because, not to start the vlog on a nasty note, but I have not been feeling the most motivated when it's been coming to my work again, what a shock. And yeah, that also means that I've not really had the energy to film either at the moment because I feel like when I'm not excited about my work and I'm not motivated about my work it doesn't make me excited or motivated to film what I'm getting up to but anyway we are starting the vlog today and I want to show you some of my 96 well plates with my bacteria in it because I have mentioned in the last few vlogs that I've been having problems with my bacteria so you might remember that I bought new bacterial stocks to start again with and I have basically been testing them out to see if they're going to grow like how I said they were growing growing in my methods development chapter in my thesis. So in my thesis I basically have a whole chapter which is dedicated to how I developed the bioassay, the different conditions that I tested to make the bioassay optimal, and now my bacteria are not growing in the initial conditions that I said were optimal for their growth. So we thought maybe there's been a genetic shift in my bacteria because I've been using them for two years. I've made multiple glycerol stocks, which is basically just storing your bacteria in glycerol for long term storage in a minus 80 degrees freezer. But we bought new bacteria and it seems like, yeah, that that wasn't the problem. So I don't know what's been going on. I basically the only thing that has changed is the batch of nutrient for making the growth media and unfortunately and much to my annoyance changing the batch can actually change the growth of your bacteria. So now I've been checking if the bacteria are growing too fast, if I'm leaving them too long with the new nutrient but don't think that's the case. I'm trying a different media and they seem to be growing a lot nicer there but the problem is that in my methods chapter I am justifying why I used one media over the media that I am currently seeing good growth in. Can you understand my frustration? I believe you probably can. Anyway, spoke to my supervisor yesterday, he said shouldn't be a problem changing the method as long as I justify why and I'm showing the initial data and what else can I do basically. So this situation has been stressing me out because I only have a few more experiments left and I shouldn't have to be troubleshooting these experiments because they were working perfectly at one point and now they are not. So I'm going to go and check the growth of the bacteria in the plates, then we're going to check how the biofilms have grown and we have to cross our fingers that in this media the biofilms grow nicely because I can see that the culture has grown nicely. Fingers crossed, please. <laughs> I'm sorry to start the vlog off on a negative note, but I'm just being real with you guys. That's what I like to do here. And I'm showing the, you the realities of what things, what things can happen during the final few months of a PhD where it's supposed to be just, you know, writing, maybe doing a few little bits and bobs here and there. No, not for me. It has been incredibly stressful and yeah, I've spoken about it enough. Anyway, let's go to biological sciences. Let's read the plates. Actually, first before, I'll just explain to you and I'll show you the plates and explain how I can see that the growth is drastically different from one growth media from another. Sorry if you're not a microbiologist, I hope I could explain that well enough that you can understand. Um, if you have any questions about all the terms and all the procedures and things that I mentioned, please do ask me in the comments below because I want you guys to learn along with me. Right, let's show you the plates. Okay, so we have plate number one which looks like it just has water in it. The bacteria when they're grown should be nice and cloudy and as you can see there's not much cloudiness. Again, it depends on the values that I get when I measure the growth in the plate reader. My plate reader looks something like this, but yeah, you can just see from looking by eye that they don't look very cloudy. If I compare with this one, you can very much see the dis difference and you can very much see the bacterial growth a lot, lot better using this media. So that's annoying. This is the, the media just on its own, so you can quite see the difference between the media and the bacterial growth. It is a big big difference even with these wells which don't look to have like grown as much yeah big difference so how annoying <laughs> very very annoying <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the realities of doing a PhD. So it took me multiple attempts to actually read the plates in the plate reader because they kept getting stuck because the plate reader is not made 
for what I'm trying to do. So that was good fun. That took me absolutely ages and yeah, wasted a lot of time. But finally we got there. We got the readings done and I'm going to treat myself now to some breakfast. Apologies for this angle. I'm getting shy in public as I always do. Yeah, let's go get some breakfast and then continue the lab work, I guess. A new bushing. <laughs> end projects <laughs> this year. It's an exciting day when we get deliveries year. to the lab. We have a delivery like this. So it's good for SP heat. It's part of the What's accessory. That? The Wuva bottle. What's that? Wuva bottle is always attached to the side of the pump. Just oh, to collect in case condensation. You have condensation. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Like like these. Yes, yes, something like that. Okay. So we also have a <laughs> the connections, the connectors, the silencer, silencer rather, not okay. connector. Here we have the plug. The plug as well. Oh, is this the same pump as the one we had before? Yes, the really big one? Yeah. Okay. So we have the tubing. <laughs> and finally, here it comes. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, it's big. Uh, oh, it's very big. Oh. So I'm going to unveil it. Oh, it's good for Dr. Sylvia to be here, but I'm sorry. You put the tape here. It's when there's like an event and you put the tape and you yeah, come Yeah, that's how they do that. <laughs> the tape to be where? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And then I'll you cut that. the tape. <laughs> yeah, I'll cut it. <laughs> okay. Come on. That's ah, it's bushy. nice. Nice one. Wow. This is V on drink. Quite good. Which a uh, five M bar virtual. So, oh, like okay. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite effective. You can use it as standalone. You can also connect it to the rotary Rotary operator, you know. and it does the job. Cool. And fast. Nice. So thank uh, you. Unboxing of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also <laughs> thank you, Doctor Jessica. Ah, uh, not yet. For the not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Are you seeing how cold it is this morning? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it is Monday currently, it is before nine o'clock. I have a meeting with my supervisor in five minutes, so I'm gonna make this very quick. But today I am documenting what a day in my life looks like as a final year PhD student. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I am a final year PhD student at the University of Aberdeen and I research in the area of natural products chemistry. If you don't know what natural products chemistry is, I actually just released a video recently uh, explaining all about natural products research and telling you all about the different projects that are ongoing in my lab here at the Marine Bio Discovery Centre. So with that, I am going to look over my notes for my meeting with my supervisor. I'm going to go to my meeting with my supervisor and then we're going to return to the lab and we're going to start whatever it is that we need to do for the day. Hello, it is now the afternoon, it's almost 2pm and I don't know how that's happened and this might turn out to be a not very exciting vlog because I have been analysing data for the last like three hours. So I had my meeting with my supervisor this morning, that was all fine and well and since then I've been analysing data that I collected at the weekend because I came in on Saturday. It's not a normal thing for me but I'm going to Edinburgh tomorrow for a few events during the week and yeah. Saturday was the only day I could get some work done in order to get everything finished before I go away tomorrow. So the bioassay that I was doing on Saturday, this morning you will have seen that I stained the biofilms with crystal violet dye, which basically just highlights any bacterial cells which are there. And in particular, I'm looking at biofilms, which is essentially a film of bacteria across the bottom of a 96 well plate. And I've left them to dry to allow all the water to evaporate. And now I need to add ethanol and then we're going to take some readings on the plate reader and I'm going to bring you with me. It's Jessica from the future here. Please excuse how I look and how I sound. I'm actually very ill at the moment. I've just returned from a trip last week and yeah, I don't know if I'm like overtired or if I pushed myself too hard or if I just got sick, but here I am. 
I am sick. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of like clarify what this video was about this week because it was kind of hectic and a little bit chaotic because I just kind of put together all the clips that I've recorded over the last few weeks and it doesn't really make a very cohesive story. But it is also a very good representation of my life at the moment because everything is a bit chaotic. I have been starting videos and not finishing them because I've just been swept up in the lab doing one million things and just have not had the energy to film really. So yeah, that's why I've been putting out less content recently because I've just been trying to focus on my PhD and trying to focus on my thesis and just finding that I don't have the capacity to stretch myself in all these different directions. I'm really going to try and get back to my one video a week because recently it has been maybe like two videos per month. Yeah, but I've just been in the lab so much recently and that has not been my <laughs> desire, but I haven't been able to help it. But hopefully my lab work chills out a bit soon and I can be a bit less stressed and I can be a bit more in control of my, of my work and my YouTube channel and all of the above. Anyway, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, apologies for the chaotic nature of this video, but I hope you managed to get something out of it nonetheless. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!